Hi everybody, welcome back to Tam Predicts. I'm be doing another reading. Your, if your uh, letter is there of your name, uh, then this reading is for you. If your the letter of your name is there, then this reading is for you. Let's see what are the messages. I'm using the knowledge cards, the fairy cards, and I'm going to use the energy cards. So let's see what are the different messages. And uh, this I've taken out. I feel communication, Gemini's. You could be a Gemini. The person you're dealing with could be a Gemini. Could be an air sign. I get uh, communication coming uh, towards you. A lot of communication coming. I feel uh, you two talking to each other, and that communication is going to bring you closer. The kind of things they are going to say, or whatever you going to say, um, you know, communication is actually the key. This is going to open your heart to each other. And if you've not been really expressing your, yourselves, I think uh, you are going to talk about it. And definitely it's going to happen now. I get the word now here, though now is not written. I really get now it's the time to talk. So whenever you're listening to this reading, it's timeless and you have to talk. And uh, you, could be an, uh, you could be an air sign or you could be dealing with an air sign. And uh, the person is pretty much uh, similar like you are. Uh, similar habits, similar way of talking or probably similar profession, maybe working at the same place or... Uh, um, you know uh, liking the same things that's what I get probably you like the same things but definitely I get communication is the key and it's now now is the time okay your dreams need a practical plan so whatever you're dreaming of means in your relationship or if you are planning everything in a relationship it needs to be practical you know and I also feel it's not about just being emotional uh, if you're if things are not going right and they are not under your control you got to be practical to understand your situation their situation so you know what's going on in your life and their life you got to think about it properly not just make hard decisions but also make mind decisions and taurian energy so you could be a may or a june born is what i get uh, more more like an uh, may or june i feel do not be stubborn because bull is also being uh, you know uh, when you see a bull taurian it's like being stubborn so don't be stubborn you got to be open to communication maybe that's your message you got to be open to communication because you can't be stubborn about it and you have to listen Listen to them also here are the cards your hard work is paying off so you've been working hard on this relationship you've been making an effort you've been making an effort you did not let them go maybe they did not treat you uh, well or maybe they asked you to go I mean like in a fight or something and they weren't really kind to you but uh, you were like uh, no I'm gonna hold on to this that's another message that I get but now it's gonna pay off okay that's that's brilliant and as usual I said I am just selecting the light yes because i feel uh, there was too much light on my face confidence is the key in your uh, in your whole relationship is the key to success you've got two keys i don't know why um, uh, did you get a key to a house uh, did you get a key do you wear a bracelet with a key something to do with a key did you draw a key because i've got the words key here and i don't know why when i was reading i was like key is important you know when i said communication is is um the key thing right now see communication is key confidence is your key to success something to do with the keys did you get keys to a house were you planning to live in you got a keys to your office but something you got new keys you know could be a car also i don't know why i'm getting that so uh definitely you have to be confident about the things you're doing if you both are confident that you have to make it work i think that's the message here if you both are confident that you have to make it uh, work it's going to happen a new romantic cycle begins and I feel for a lot of you new love is coming uh, in new person is coming in and the communication is a key could also be new love uh, happening and a lot of messages a lot of uh, communication messages calls from their side uh, they would be dropping in to see you but there is a lot of communication and could also be new love okay definitely bring love into the situation so bring love whatever you think about you know whatever is happening uh do not uh, act with a cold heart you be practical uh, be uh, emotional i think there has to be a balance maybe a balance is required you know the word that i get here is balance and though this is a new romantic cycle begins i think the message here is you've got to balance it out okay the kind of uh, whatever you're thinking i think it has to be a balance of practical mixed with uh, you know a bit of emotional uh, you know uh, understanding of the whole situation step out of your comfort zone for i think this is more for new love you know if you have really fall in love with someone it's very new or uh, you know or you want to uh, really take a chance on someone or take a risk or tell them that you like them maybe you're just friends and you're taking a chance and uh, you want to tell them that how much uh, you love them or you know you've got feelings for them i think one of you has to confess you know this this could be for one of you look at this i'll tell you why look at the end of the deck here though i did not see it you're holding your heart out it's like you want somebody to know that you've fallen in love with them and you're like should i tell them or not will they look away but definitely one of you want they you want to say that hey i've fallen in love with you <laughs> that's another message that i get believe um 
in the impossible so yes whatever you are uh, believing in have faith in it and it's going to happen so whatever your dream was in the relationship i think just have faith and things are going to fall in place look at the bigger picture i think that's a very very uh, good message uh, don't look at tiny things small things that uh, uh, came uh, you know uh, made you fight or very small things that you fought on i think look at the bigger picture how good the person is uh, think about what good they do not just focus on uh, the bad things that happen in a relationship you know when you focus on the bad and you start thinking about small things and you're like hey uh, i don't like this about uh, them or i don't like this about them uh, small things are going to start troubling you so do not just think about uh, small things look at the bigger picture maybe they're very nice uh, maybe they're very caring uh, maybe they don't express much so you don't really have to focus on that they do not express much on if they are a very good person then focus on that a time to give rather take maybe your partner is not a time to give rather take so maybe your partner is not really um, in a in a in a good position right now to uh, return the love or to really love you or probably they're going through a uh, hard time and i think you have to be there for them and uh, yeah uh, why not you know probably they have been there for you and it's time you got to understand them i'm using the fairy cards they're very pretty looking i shuffled the card twice and i got this one twice music I think music binds you. You both love similar kind of music, or probably they love music, and music is what, um, you know, music. Uh, or, or probably okay. The message that I get is, uh, uh, if you listen to a song or you hear a song suddenly, there could be some messages for you, hidden messages for you in, uh, um, in a track or in the words. But music is going to give you some kind of a message from them. Is what I get, or probably from your spirit guides also to help you. I really get. Yeah, that's the message here that they will be giving you a. A, a message in a song you know sometimes the words are so perfect in like hey this is my situation or you know hey why didn't i think of it so something is going to uh, lead you to in the right direction yes healing heart sorry i have to pick that up for some of you you have to heal your heart okay this is it your heart needs to be healed look at this and i can see a rainbow once you heal yourself can you see the colors of the world or the colors of love is the message that I get here. So for some of you, healing will help, especially blue color you can use to heal. Wish wisely. For some of you, if you're manifesting something, please wish wisely. Do not wish for an ex-partner or ex-person or somebody uh, who's really toxic to come back in your life. So whatever you're wishing for, I mean, wish will be granted, but be very careful with what you're wishing, okay? Find balance. Okay, yeah, I remember because I was thinking balance, balance, and I saw that uh, and I was like, it has to be something to do with, the, uh, you know, um, um, balance so you got to balance things in life find balance is also uh, you know divide your time properly uh, you know don't just prioritize work this is for you also do not prioritize work maybe your partner is missing you because you've been so busy or maybe you know they've been so busy and you missing them but somebody needs to uh, you know really divide time between um, you know spending time with the person or you know find balance between work and also play because you need to find time for love also maybe you becoming so busy or they becoming so busy that's not right Wait for winter for some of you if you're in the winter season awesome because winter season is going to bring you the answers or if you're heading towards winter season then winter season is good for you for your relationship and good and for answers. I saw such beautiful cards while shuffling. This one I thought I'll uh, just live look at this guys. Yin and yang you've got balance here i think we've got uh, the scale uh, then we've got find your balance and we've got yin and yang i think um, one of you a lot of you need to find that right balance in your relationship right balance of work and play right ba balance of uh, you know expressing yourself your emotions your practical like i said but somewhere needs to be balanced one of you could be dominating one of you could be meek but there has to be some kind of a balance i think you have to rebalance something uh, to uh, make things work in a relationship so we've got the balance thrice so i I think that's a very very important message second chakra i i, I get uh, you know take care of your uh, stomach is what i get like don't eat uh, too much is just a message that i get here work with yellow color okay and i also feel heavy feeling heavy just in the stomach i don't know why uh, feeling heavy in the stomach it's like that churning feeling are you anxious you know when you have that churning feeling that's a very different message i'm getting here why would you have that churning feeling? Are you anxious about somebody? Are you anxious about your situation? So take care of yourself. Nine, next nine days are important for you. So the person also loves you, okay? If you're telling, if you were asking me this question, if the person loves you, look, they even they have their heart out. I mean, they're holding their heart. And how beautiful the heart is. They have a beautiful heart, okay? That's another message that I get. And I see two nines. <coughs> 
<coughs> sorry my throat is perpetually bad oh. <coughs> because you're speaking so much i see two nines here and i really thought nine is going to be important for you guys maybe your birth date is nine maybe their birth date birth month you're really attached to the person some of you are really attached and you are wondering if this is a good attachment or not i think that's on your mind so address that <coughs> sorry i think i'll have to close the reading because my throat is getting bad caring connection if we've got two fives oh you're attached to the person you're wondering if the person is good or not here are two fives look at this one plus four five and five you're attached to this person you're wondering um should i give my heart to them or not but my answer is yes let's do uh seven uh zodiac signs this could be your zodiac sign or not let's see I'm not getting all the zodiac cards. I'm wondering where I've put them, so I'm struggling with that. Okay, here it is. I'm going to take out five zodiacs, so you could be this. So uh, this could be your zodiac or their zodiac. I do not know, but five definitely. Leo, you could be dealing with a Leo. <laughs> you are a Leo. Cancer. Okay. We got Virgo. We got Scorpio. And let's see. And we've got Pisces. We've got all the water signs. <laughs> so water signs are probably getting very emotional. And uh, this, uh, the uh, you know, the uh, spirit guides are saying, hey, I mean, just don't get too emotional. Uh, just you know, um, balance things out. I think uh, maybe this is for water signs and more for fire signs is what I'm getting. But yes. Um, this was a general reading and I'll be back with another reading. Do like the channel, do hit the subscribe button and do comment. Bye guys, take care and I hope you enjoyed your reading.